Good morning, my loves. All right, so I'm officially down 10 pounds. I weighed in this, this week at 187.5, starting at my highest, 197.5. I'm going to the beach in June, so I'm on a mission to lose the next 70 pounds. This gives me 16 weeks, so at about four pounds a week. I may not make it. It's gonna be incredibly hard but aim small, miss small. So even if I fall a little bit short and I'm at 60 pounds or 50 pounds in 16 weeks, I'll be happy with that. But I'm aiming for 70 pounds in the next 16 weeks. So I just wanted to share with you guys my plan, how I'm going about doing this. As far as diet and exercise goes, my plan is gonna be to eat one small meal a day. That's basically what I've been doing having like two tacos here or two enchiladas there. Of course, I really <laughs> like Mexican food. A uh, small bowl of spaghetti with just like a little bit of noodles in it, chili, things like that is are my favorite. I just kind of take the stuff I love and make it low carb, high protein. I'll allow myself one or two cheat days a week, which means I'll have two meals a day or like I did this past weekend, had a slice of cauliflower pizza. The cheats, are very not nearly like what my old cheats were. My old cheats were like full day splurge, pizza, french fries, chicken fingers, all of the things and good portion sizes. But now it's just gonna be smaller portion sizes, but still cheats. I'm going to do my best to get my body into fat burning mode. And I find that my body goes into fat burning mode best when I have some carbs and then I'm active afterwards for like the next two hours. So trying to make a point to make sure that whatever I'm doing, I'm not sitting still and I'm actively burning it off because when my body learns to burn off the sugar, burn off the carbs, then when I don't have any carbs in my system, it goes straight to the fat and I find that I drop the fat a lot easier. I feel like this week it's the weights just like starting to really fall off. So that's exciting. I've already been working out five days a week, sometimes cardio on the weekends. I'll continue doing that. And I have a bike at home, so I'll try and do the bike in the evenings um, just so I can be burning as many calories as possible. To be completely honest with you guys, I have been trying to get to where I can eat like this easily for the past year. I have been trying so hard to like be at a place where my portion sizes are like this and I'm not hungry, I feel satisfied, and all the past year it's been like, okay, maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, and I've been trying to figure it out. And now I finally feel like I figured it out, figured it out. I feel confident in it, and I'm gonna share it with you guys. I know I've shared it in the past few videos, but I wanna share it again because it's just been so pivotal for me. It's my aha moment. And I know it may sound a little woohoo-y, a little like too easy, because I know like it seems like it's so hard to get the weight off, it should be so hard to like flip the switch. Just stay with me because y'all, for so long I was looking for the, the simple trick, the, you know, the pill, the right diet or whatever to kind of flip that switch. I would have seen this video before and I would have probably clicked off of it because I'm like no 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 I, it's just something else it's some pill that I need some certain exercise that's gonna burn off a lot of calories some certain food that's gonna burn more fat and I didn't want to put in the mental work and eventually you know there came a day where I finally was looking for videos like these where it was like okay tell me the in internal work that I need to do because all of this other stuff isn't working and it's not fun it's not exciting it's not sexy it's not glamorous it's very simple and this is the the meat and potatoes of how I've been able to finally eat my portions the way it is and I hope that you know, even if you don't watch this video now, I hope that in the future, maybe you come back to this video ready to kind of like do the internal work and you don't have to go through the past 10 years of yo-yo dieting, losing the same 10 pounds over and over again and struggling to lose the 10 pounds, like, like putting all of your energy into weight loss and your diet and just all of it just to lose the 10 pounds, just to gain it back. 
like I have been, do been doing for the past 10 years. I, I hope that this will save you that time where you can just come back to this video and like, okay, let's do the internal work. All the other stuff, like expensive, all these tools are not working. Okay, let's see what this is about. Maybe this is what I need. And for me, this is what I needed. The biggest thing for me was that my head, I was constantly in my head, never actually being in the present moment. And so food was the only thing that brought me into the present moment. And it really is an act of self-love because it's stressful to be in your head and trying to figure out and stress and all of those things that you're trying to take care of everything of outside of ourselves. It's a lot and it it's stressful. And to stop and eat food and enjoy the taste and the texture and the flavor and all of that stuff, it is an act of self-love because it's putting your mind at rest, letting your mind have a bit of a break and enjoying the food. I didn't know it when I was doing it, but that was my act of self-love was like, okay, I just put it all down and now I get to enjoy. And so now as I actively remind myself throughout the day, go to my senses. What's my, what do I touch? What do I feel? What do I smell? What do I hear? Even things like color. When I watch TV, I start like, oh wow, that's a beautiful color and really absorb it and appreciate it. And all of the little things, it brings me back into that moment. And it's an act of self-love because it stops my mind from trying to figure all this stuff out because, you know, life is life and we've got to do all those things, but we also have to stop and be present in the moment. And that is why it was so hard for me to you know bring my portion sizes down to choose better foods because that was that was the only time I got that break in uh, from my head and so now I give myself that break all throughout the day and it's just it's done so much for me and I have no need for bigger portion sizes I have no need for junk food I can't say that completely but like I haven't eaten chicken fingers in a while I haven't eaten fries in a while it's just, I'm not missing out. It's just, I don't need it like I did before. So this brings me into the second thing, which is really becoming attuned with myself. Being present has allowed me to tune in with myself. I'm having like joy and excitement for the day to get all these things done, to bring me closer to my goals. I'm starting to get back in tune with the things that make me come alive. Like it's like I'm paying more attention to myself instead of this person or that person or what needs to get done, all of that, I'm tuning into what's right for me. All my decisions now are based on what feels good for me, what's right for me. It's like this feeling of centeredness instead of I need to get this done because this person's gonna be mad at me if I don't. It's more like I have to get this done because I'm the kind of person that follows through with what I promise or you know, it's it's a different angle of looking at things. It's not being controlled by what everybody needs, but doing things that are right for myself and choosing my own opinions to look at. That thirst for life. And it's not necessarily about finding my passion because if someone asked me what my passion is right now, I, I don't know what I would say that is, but I have a, the thirst for life. Like this brings me into number three. I am making this my year. This is all about every little thing, what I can do to move the needle a little bit each day, getting in the gym, getting on here and talking to you guys, thinking about what things are getting me to the place that I'm going to so that I can share it with you guys. Wanting to make a difference, having something bigger than myself. It's really about fulfilling my potential as much as I can as a human being finally making this the year where I get in shape and stay in shape and become my best self and learn more and improve on um, self-development, things that I need to work on as a human being, being patient, being kind, being thoughtful, being present. Really, it's, it's becoming my best self and really taking a hold of this YouTube channel. I want to start really pouring back into it again because this is something that's always been important to me because 
every time I needed to lose weight, I, I was looking for someone to share these kinds of things because we all know how much food we're really supposed to eat. We all know what kinds of food to eat. We all know that we need to exercise, but there's something else there. And that's what I was looking for. And, and I love being able to pour into this and try to figure it out with you guys and hear about your guys' stories. So the fourth thing in this project is no food is off limits. The more I put restrictions on what I'm allowed to eat, what I should eat, the more I want it. And so when I tell myself, hey, you can have whatever you want. I'll have fries, I'll have this. And I did this a few weeks ago and I just didn't want it as much. And then I just didn't want to choose those foods. Um, and so it was a slow process, but it kind of took that taboo off of it that makes you want it even more. If I want to go have pizza and french fries today, I'll go have pizza and french fries today, but I don't want it. And it's because it's not off limits anymore. It's not like, you know, hey, you're not supposed to have this. Oh, okay, let me hold off for one more day. It's not like that. I can go have it if I want to. I just don't want it. And then the last thing that I'm really focusing on that is something I'm not good at right now, but I'm consciously making a point to, to work on is focusing on the mind muscle connection. You guys know I've been trying to grow, grow my glutes, which I think they have grown a good bit. Um, I'll put like some before and afters up here, but it's not quite getting to where I want it to be. And I need to focus on that mind muscle connection, which means I'm really focusing every time I do an exercise on feeling the contraction in my glutes. I used to have no biceps and I remember I used to go in the gym and I would do bicep curls and I could not feel in my biceps at all, but I did very lightweight and I just focused on squeezing. And now I have no problem at all when I do bicep curls, feeling it in my biceps, which is pretty cool feeling. So I know I need to drop my weights down for my glutes and do it slow and just focus on feeling that muscle contract. And the more I do that, the more I'll build that mind muscle connection where I feel that contraction and it helps blood flow and it helps grow all of the good stuff. And then one little bonus thing that I wanted to share with you guys, kind of my little flag that lets me know mentally I'm where I'm supposed to be. When I would get hungry, I would have cravings, which cravings to me is I have to have this specific food, this specific flavor. I need something salty. I need something crunchy. I need something cheesy. And now that I've started being present, my hunger is actual hunger. That means I can eat anything that's in the house. I can make do just as long as something that fills my belly. And so that's my big flag. I know when I'm doing things right, when I don't have cravings, but I have actual hunger. And actual hunger means I just need something to fill my tummy. I'll make do with whatever's in the house. I don't need to have any specific flavor. I don't have to have any specific thing. And that's where I'm finally at now. Um, I did notice a little bit of cravings yesterday, so I'm going to have to make sure like today I make it extra big points to like be attention, pay attention to being present and giving my mind that rest. Um, but I have kind of my guiding light that brings me back in, which is being present. So that's my big flag. I don't know if that's for everybody. Um, you guys were doing it. I'm feeling really excited. I hope that this information helps you guys, you know, on your journey, if it applies to you. Um, thank you guys so much for keeping up with me. We're gonna make this our year. We're gonna become our best selves ever. I'm really excited. Thanks for going on this journey with me, you guys, and I'll see you next time. Mwah.